Hi everyone. Once again, this is your life coach, spiritual leader, LARMS director, Rose Johnson Smith. Welcome to our channel under the theme, Mushroom into Greatness. Just to tell you a little bit more about LARM. LARM uses the scripture from Matthew 25, 35 and onward. For I was hungry and you gave me meat. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. Naked and you clothed me. I was in prison and you came to see me. This is what Jesus wants us to do. To look out for the poor and needy. To respect them and be there for them. Now today I want to borrow some words from Coffee, the award winning um, DJ, so to speak. Gratitude is a must. It is important to be grateful and to be thankful to others, especially those who have touched your lives. For example, Jesus gave thanks and he highlighted those individuals who came back to tell him thanks and rejoiced when he blessed them. But before I continue, let us pray. Lord, help us to be grateful, to be thankful for life and for everything that you have provided for us. Lord, we give you thanks today in Jesus' name. Amen. I know that we are living in difficult times with COVID-19 coming upon us, but there is always a lot to give thanks for. Live within your current reality. Now is the time to pull out all the stocks and the reserves that you have inside and learn a new skill. My daughter wants me to buy a, a sewing machine to teach her to sew at this time since she has a lot of time on her hand. And guess what? She has been teaching me how to dance. So I've been getting some dance lessons. So do your best in the situation that you currently are and give thanks. I have some persons who have molded my life and helped me to mushroom into greatness. My mom, Esther Johnson, she taught me how to pray and how to turn me hand and make fashion. My dad taught me never to give up. Doesn't matter what he has been doing. And it failed. He said, no, there's another day. I am not giving up. I enjoyed reading the scriptures for him when he has a preaching engagement. And you know what? I even enjoyed washing his dirty feet when he comes in from farming or from his carpenter work in the evenings. These are values that I've learned and I am using them. I also want to give thanks to my grade six teacher. During those times, we did common entrance, Joyce Brown. That lady taught me how to be a giver, one, how to speak confidently, two, and I will always appreciate her. She eventually became my friend after I went to high school and college. In fact, if I were to tell my story, I was very poor in college and I could look forward to a little bag from Joyce when I go home on the weekends to go back to live in style as if I have it all. I also want to give gratitude to Arnold Brown. That man taught me how to be confident and a good listener because he talked a whole lot about life and about God in a positive way. I also want to give gratitude to a lovely lady called Pat Eves. I lived with that lady one year and there were times when I could not pay her my rent and she was my psychology lecturer and that lady would allow me to live. And one day she said, you know what, Rose? Somebody, I owed somebody a hundred and odd thousand dollars and that person told me that I no longer need to pay her back. And you owe me $40,000 for, for, for your rent. I am going to do the same to you. You don't have to pay me back. And that's how I was able to do my first degree. Um, completed it. And here I am today. I want to thank also my husband. He seemed to be last, but he's not least. This guy, I have never seen him. And he's not confident. He laughs a lot. And he taught me how to love. Who 
do you have to give thanks to? Think about it and write it in the comment below. You can give those persons who have sown in your life, who have touched your lives, a big shout out and a big thank you. I am Rose Johnson Smith, your life coach and LARMS director. I ask that you subscribe and like my video below. See you in the next video.